Hey, this is Jonas from the Maxon Training Team. And in this Cinema 4D quick tip, I want to show you how you can create rotational morphs. What you need in order to do that is a pose morph tag. And I already assigned one to that shell object here. As you can see in the basic tab, I'm affecting the points here. And that allows me in the tag tab to blend between two states that I can define. All you have to do is to add a new pose and adjust it the way you like. And I already did that here. So I already created this open pose. This is open and this is the base pose. And using the strength slider, I can blend between the two. But now you can also see that it's not behaving the way I want it to behave. Because I actually want it to follow the round shape of the sphere. Now let me go to the side view and let me explain to you why this is not happening. So whenever I blend between the two states, you can see that the points here are blending in a linear way. That means that this point here, for example, directly goes from here in a straight line to there. And this one here goes also in a straight line from here to there. And this is why the roundness of this object is not being kept. But we can make that happen. Whenever you created a pose, you can adjust the mixing. And by default, it's set to relative, but you can also set this to rotational. And this will give you access to the rotation section. And now you can define the rotation axis. So let me jump back to perspective view and show you how you can do this. You can either type it in manually or you can use existing edges or points to define this rotation axis. I'm going to use points. So I'm going to select this one and also this one. And then I just click from points. And once I did that, you can see this yellow line here. And this is showing you the rotation axis. And now when I blend between the two, you can see that the roundness is completely there. Also in the side view, I can show you that. And now it is perfect. This technique can perfectly be used in character rigging. For example, when you want to use post morphs to animate the eyelids. Here you can see that I've got a left eye close pose. And once I adjust the strength here, you can also see that it's perfectly following the roundness of the eye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.